It's, okay. uh, <laughs> it's what endows other particles, even itself actually, with mass. Interesting. Now, where does where does that come from? Well, just to take Neil's idea, it starts with the idea of a field. That's how you right. get rid of this idea of action at a distance. You imagine that space is filled with stuff. You don't know invented field. I I really don't. Michael Faraday. Yeah. Oh, really? It, well, that makes sense. He was yeah. the first. Yeah. Well, to think of magnetic field. And, and right. think what a what a leap that is. Yeah, that is. Right. Yeah. It's right. an insane leap. Right. Because right. right. there's, there. there's nothing right. there. Yeah. You're looking you know, at nothing. You're seeing and yet nothing. You're positing that there is something there. Yeah. And that's an amazing thing. But he was talking electric and magnetic field. Right. What Higgs is talking about is a new field called the Higgs field, which he didn't call it that, but right. that's what we call it. So it's this field that fills space. And as particles that otherwise would be massless, as they try to go through space, they have to burrow through the Higgs, the Higgs field. field. Okay. And that creates a kind of drag force on them, which is what imparts the mass that they have. Okay. And that's the field. Now, what's the particle? Well, if you have this field in principle, if you hit it hard enough, like hitting the surface of water, you can cause little particles of the field to spray Glass out. out. Right. And that's what the Large Hadron Collider did. It slammed proton against proton, and that way jostled the Higgs field and caused a little droplet of it to break free, and that's the and Higgs.